In this video, we will run multi-browser test execution on four different browsers, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Safari web browsers. Here on the Playwright configs file, we set up four workers for four different browsers. Each of these browsers runs simultaneously. Isn't that great? So that means you save a lot of time while ensuring your application is running as expected on each browser. It's always a good practice to create locators and page object model. That way you can maintain your framework easily by changing everything in one place. Set up the test data same way by centralizing data for reusability and easy updates. Here we will use test.describe. The reason is to group the same functional tests under a descriptive name. This helps improve test structure and improves report readability. It's also the best approach for grouping regression testing as well. That's something you'll definitely need in large projects, especially in large group of QAs. After navigating to the web page, it will first wait for DOM content to get loaded, and then it will navigate to the form page and will fill the test data to the input fields one by one. After submitting the test data, you can always print the steps to the console for debugging purpose. This way, when your tests fails, you will be able to track the failing steps easily without wasting much of your time. Since Firefox might have slow rendering issues, that's why I added extra wait for timeout for Firefox only. After validating the title says thanks for submitting the form, then you need to validate all the data you have provided appears same way as expected. So if your test also runs successfully like mine, just consider to subscribe to my channel Aaron Codes and like the video. And also comment down below if you face any blocker on executing this test case. After this video, you are one step closer to the world of QA.